Shalom. Today we are continuing the comparison of the Chamesh Megillah, the five scrolls, to the five books of Moses. We are going to look at Shir Hashirim, the Song of Songs, which is of Solomon, compared to the book of Exodus. When first lining these books up, I was looking for themes that would be parallel, and also I tried to keep the books in order. So we have seen how the main gist of the story of Esther is the same as the story of Joseph, in addition to many other parallels we found between the books. And today we're going to look at how the Song of Songs and Exodus are parallel in themes. In brief, both books are the story of the bride. We see in the Song of Songs the echoes of slavery. In chapter 1, verse 6, Look not upon me, because I am black, because the sun hath looked upon me. My mother's children were angry with me, and made me the keeper of the vineyards, but my own vineyard I have not kept. She's working in other people's vineyards, but not her own. This is like the slavery of Egypt. Twice we see mention of the chariots, which we have seen in Egypt. In uh, chapter 1, verse 9, I have compared thee, O my love, to a company of horses in Pharaoh's chariots. And in chapter 6, verse 12, Wherever I was aware, my soul made me, like the chariots of Aminadav. Uh, this is the King James translation, but in other many other translations it says, Of my noble or my royal people. Of the actual exodus itself, we see that the people are following God. We're reminded of this in uh, Song of Songs, chapter 1, verse 4. Draw me, we will run after thee. The king hath brought me into his chambers. We will be glad and rejoice in thee. We will remember thy love more than wine. The upright love thee. And also coming through the sea, the reed sea, Chapter 8, verse 7, Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. If a man would give all the substance of his house for love, it would utterly be condemned. So the people came through the waters. They could not drown their relationship with the Lord. He brought them through, and they were preserved. Another theme in the book of Exodus is the voice of Yahweh at Sinai. It is said that this is the only time in all of human history that God has come down to speak to his people. The voice of the beloved is extolled in, in Shir Hashirim, chapter 2, verse 14. O oh my dove, that art in the clefts of the rock, in the secret places of the stairs, let me see thy countenance, let me hear thy voice, for sweet is thy voice, and thy countenance is comely. Again in chapter 8, verse 13, Thou that dwellest in the gardens, the companions hearken to thy voice, cause me to hear it. The time of Sinai is also seen as an espousal. The uh, Targum teaches that the wedding between the Lord and the people of Israel took place at Sinai when he gave us a Torah. At that time, he revealed himself to his bride. And it is taught that when Moses brought forth the people from the camp to meet the presence of the Lord, that suddenly the Lord of the world uprooted the mountain and lifted it in the air, and it became luminous as a beacon, and they stood beneath the mountain. The actual phrase there is tachat ahar, which quite literally means beneath the mountain, although traditionally understood to be at the foot of the mountain. But this idea of the mountain raising up, the rabbis paint us a picture of the chuppah and the wedding. In uh, Song of Solomon, Song of Songs, chapter 3, verse 11, we read, Go forth, O ye daughters of Zion, and behold King Solomon, with the crown wherewith his mother crowned him in the day of his espousals, and in the day of the gladness of his heart. We see that both uh, events are taking place in the springtime. In Exodus 13.4, it says, This day ye came out in the month Aviv. Uh, another place that we've talked about that Aviv 
is not actually the name of a month, but it refers to a stage of development of the barley, as we read in Exodus 9.31, and the flax and the barley were smitten, for the barley was in ear. That phrase is translated as in ear, is aviv, and the flax was bald. So it's talking about a time period, and we know that the, the barley comes in ear just around the time of Passover. It is the springtime. In Song of Songs, chapter 2, verses 11 and 12, For lo, the winter is past, the rain is over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth. The time of the singing of birds is come. The voice of the turtle, or actually turtle dove, is heard in our land. In both books, there is a the theme of the wells of water. In Exodus 15:27, we see the people come to Elim, where were 12 wells of water and three score and 10 palm trees, and they encamp there by the waters. In the Song of Songs, the beloved is compared to a fountain. In 4:12, a garden enclosed is my sister, my spouse, a spring shut up, a fountain sealed. And in 4.15, a fountain of gardens, a well of living waters, and streams from Lebanon. The next time we will continue on uh, with the main event between Exodus and Song of Songs. In the meantime, Tasimata Inayim, Ahashamayim, keep your eye on the sky, your redemption draweth nigh. Shalom.